Oh, hey friends. I'm so glad you're here. I'm just hanging out in this alligator swamp, you know, as we do. And I was just thinking about less than and more than. Less, more, what does that even mean? Sometimes when we're talking about numbers, we have to describe them as less or more. And when you're just looking at numbers, it's hard to picture in your head. What does that mean? What's less and what's more? Sometimes when we're just learning these things, to get a good picture in our head, we like to use a picture of an alligator. Ah, can you say chomp, chomp, chomp? Yeah, because the alligator wants to chomp, chomp, chomp all those things. So let's pretend that we're talking about cookies because I like to talk about cookies. And pretend that we had three cookies over here. Don't eat them yet. Three cookies, can you help me count them? One, two, three three cookies. And then over here, we have six cookies. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cookies. Three cookies on this side and six cookies on this side. Which one is more and which one is less? The three cookies or the six cookies? If I were an alligator, I would want to eat the plate that has more cookies because I'm an alligator and I got a big belly and I'm hungry. Kind of like I'm Miss Bethany and I'm still hungry for some cookies. So we're gonna make our arms look like an alligator. Let's see, chomp, chomp, chomp. And our alligator wants to eat the big plate of cookies. Which one is the big plate? If you were an alligator, would you want to eat the one that only had three cookies? Rah, rah, rah. Or would you want to pick the plate that has more than three cookies? More, like six cookies. I know what I would pick. I would open my big old alligator mouth to pick the one that has six cookies. Because that's more cookies than three, isn't it? Right, so that's less and more. Three is a lot less cookies than six is. And six is a lot more cookies than three is. Six is more than three. And three is less than six. So when we're trying to compare numbers and see which one is more, we're gonna think of our alligator, our really hungry alligator, who wants to open his big alligator mouth and chomp, chomp, chomp on whichever one has more. Does that make sense? Should we try a few and see if it sticks? Let's see, what else would we want to eat if we were an alligator? Maybe fish. Let's try and compare that. Let's count how many fish we have on this side. One, two, three, four. Four fish. Four fish on this side. And how many do we have on this side? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So we have four fish on this side and seven on this side. Which plate would you want to eat if you were an alligator? The one that only had four or the one that had seven? You're right, a hungry alligator would want to pick the one that has more fish and seven is more than four. Can you get your alligator mouth chomp, chomp, chomp and turn to eat the plate that has more? The plate that is seven is more than four. So we're gonna chomp, 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 eat less seven, because seven is more than four. Should we try another? Let's do it. What else do you think alligators might like to eat? Oh, some insects. Let's count how many insects there are. On this plate, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six insects. Let's count this plate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's a lot of insects. So which one has more? Which one would you want to eat if you were a hungry alligator? The one that has six or the one that has ten? That looks like a lot more than that one, huh? That must mean that ten is bigger than, more than, or greater than six. Greater than means more than. We know that more is better than less when we're talking about yummy alligator snacks. Can you get your alligator chompers out? Chomp, chomp, chomp. We're gonna chomp those insects. The one that has 10 instead of six. Ready? 
Perfect! I think you're getting the hang of this. Let's continue our alligator meal. Can you help me count all the snakes on this plate? One, two, three, four, five. Five snakes over here. And let's see over here. One, two. Oh, there's only two over here. Which one looks greater? Which one looks like it has more? You're right. Five snakes is a lot more than two snakes. And if I was a hungry alligator, I want to eat the plate that has more snakes than less snakes, huh? Time to get our chompers out. Chomp, chomp, chomp. is definitely more or greater than two. Let's see if we can get any more alligator snacks in. Oh, there's a lot of birds on that plate. I think I really need your help with this one. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve birds? How many are on this side? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which one looks like it has more birds on the plate? The seven? No? The 12? Yes? Oh, so glad you're here to help me. Should we get our chompers out? Let's chomp on the plate that has more birds than less. The plate that is greater than that. Here we go. Chomp, chomp. Mm, mm, mm. Let's try one more. Oh, hmm. this one looks kind of the same. Let's double check to make sure. One, two, three, four, five turtles on that plate. What about this? One, two, three, four, five. Five turtles on this plate. This one has five. And this one has five. Which one has more? Which one has less? Oh no, everything's a blur. Oh wait, no it's not. I remember, if we have the same amount on both sides, that means it's equal. Can you go like this? Put this hand on top of this one, this one on top of this one. Make an equal sign. Can you say equal? Yeah, equal means that we have the same amount on both sides. It's not greater than, it's not less than, it's not more. It's equal. An equal sign just looks like two lines on top of each other. Yeah, just like that. So if you're trying to figure out what's more and less, and it's the same amount, you can always say they're equal. I think we filled up our alligator tummies and our alligator brains. Learning about more than, less than, greater than, and equal throughout our lives. We gotta compare lots of stuff. Do I want 10 cookies or nine cookies? Whichever one is greater than, that's what I always say. I wonder, when you're going about your day, if you can start comparing things, find out which one has more and which one has less. You can even ask your grown-up to compare their things. Maybe you're eating a sandwich and you like some chips on the side, and your grown-up has a lot of chips, and you have a lot of chips. You might want to count them and compare which plate has more chips and which one has less. Or maybe you're playing cards with a friend and you're trying to figure out how many you both should get, but you wanna be good sharers, so you give each other an equal amount. You have five and your friend has five and they're both equal. By comparing things like this, we can figure out exactly how many things are there by counting them and then figuring out which one has more and which one has less. This is just another skill to put in your brain for later and you can use it in so many ways. I can't wait to find out how you can compare greater than and less than this week. Happy comparing.